Hey, Dave. Nope. Um, here is one that I would like you to address. Um, suggestions for people that are living alone during this time versus people that live with roommates, families, significant others. Um, you know, I know that, um, you know, your specialty is rehab and a huge part of that is being able to attend meetings and physically see people in front of you. Um, what are some things that people can do to help combat the loneliness or the feelings of isolation that they have right now? One of the things that I thought was remarkable and it happened almost overnight two weeks ago was that support groups for alcoholics and addicts literally went to zoom almost overnight within 48 hours. It was remarkable. Um, you know, and some of these people are like 60s and 70s and 80s and they're showing up on Zoom and it's like, that's for <laughs> um, uh, that. You don't really have any excuses anymore. You know, I mean, the technology is there. You know, 40 years ago, even 20 years ago, you couldn't have done this. And now it's like people didn't miss a beat. Um, yeah. So whether or not you're in person, and I know that, and I was actually talking to somebody about, especially early on, that connection is, is vital, like on a daily basis in the support group. Um, and he and I were talking, we've both been sober for a long time, but we know a guy who's got 80 some days and he's at home with his family and four little kids. And it's like, he's going out of his skin. So yeah, I mean, that whole idea of being able to keep that connection going is so important. Um, and every area seems to have a Zoom hub or an intergroup where you can get in touch. And Google is definitely your friend. A couple of keywords and you will find where people are meeting on Zoom. Absolutely. Yeah. Good question. Yeah.